Nito Salcido, who has a reaction from both sides of the controversy. Well, Doug, our political analysts say today's Supreme Court decision could play a major role into November's general election. So I spoke to both the Republican and Democratic parties of New Mexico for their reactions to the decision. Stand together. A major change to abortion rights today. Sparking anger in the Democratic Party. Know that the Supreme Court ruling today was one that was an aberration. Representative Pamela Herndon says the decision removes basic human rights from women across America. It did not represent the people of the country because more than 80% of the people in this country support making sure that women have access to reproductive rights. Steve Pierce is the chairman of the Republican Party of New Mexico. We all continue to fight against the extreme pro-abortion positions of the, the Democratic Party. He says the decision will change nothing for women in New Mexico where abortion is legal and that it supports mothers across our country. I hear all of the arguments that it's a win for Republicans, a win for Democrats, and, and I don't think about it like that at all. It's just, it's just a win for the unborn. The Republicans will continue to advocate for life. They'll continue to uh, stand up for the, the most vulnerable moms. But Herndon and the Democratic Party disagree. They believe the Supreme Court decision needs to be overturned come November. We're going to get everybody out to vote at those November 8th elections. People who support the rights, the reproductive rights of women across this country. Don't lose hope. Keep hope alive because we're going to the polls on November the 8th. And Representative Herndon also tells me the Democratic Party is working to provide more infrastructure for women who come across state lines looking for access to New Mexico's reproductive rights. Angel Salcido, KOAT, Action 7 News. Pierce says a big topic on November's ballot will be late-term abortions, which are currently legal in our state. 